so today instead of doing my December favorites, I decided to round it all up in my all year round favorites. So I'm going to mention all the products that I discovered all through the year and some that are just really, really standout products. So I do have a lot of like new discoveries, but they're not going to be featured in this video just because I really want this to be my true year-round favorite. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. I, saw, I hope you will find some new kind of staples in your makeup bag and things that you haven't heard of. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and right away, if you're wondering what's on my lips, I'm actually wearing a gift that I got for Christmas uh, from my sister. It's the MAC um, Retro Matte Lipstick in Ruby Vu, which is amazing. I'm really, really loving it. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips, in case you're wondering. And now let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so I'm going to start with brushes, just because, I don't know, they were right in front of me and I grabbed them. <laughs> so, um, the first kind of like standout brand of brushes that I discovered in June when I was on IMATS at London uh, are the Real Techniques brushes. They are so, so freaking affordable and probably the best quality brushes hand down in my collection. And I have some quite expensive brushes and I still prefer these ones. My two favorites are the blush brush that is my first brush that I got from them. I use it for blush, I use them for bronzer, I use them for powder, I use them for everything. And this one doesn't shed, this one is very very soft and it's just incredible. These are obviously like synthetic brushes but I mean these were like 10 pounds each and they are amazing. I wash them all the time and I just love them so so much. The other favorite is the contour brush. Yeah, so I actually use it to highlight my cheekbones and I also love it to blend my concealer under my eyes but you can use this also like for whatever you want. It's perfect for getting like right beneath your cheekbones if you like to contour, which I don't really do that much. Um, but again, amazing quality, they don't shed and I just love them. Then I also have two other brushes. They're both kind of like blending brushes. The first one is the Royal and Neglical. Um, brush and this one is the Silk Pro Contour Shadow Brush. So it's the BC265. So it is kind of large for like a, um, a blending brush for your eyeshadow but because it's so large it's just perfect for like really getting a soft contour in the socket of your eyes and this one if you really like to like contour your nose or really have a very precise line on your cheekbones this one is perfect for that. Again amazing quality. It's quite dense which is kind of odd for like an eyeshadow brush this big. So it's perfect even for packing on the color on your eyelids. I just really, really love it and I got it for like a couple of quid when I was on IMATS at London and it's great quality. And then the last brush I'm going to mention is actually from Bedellium Tools. Again, I got it when I was in London um, for IMATS for just a couple of pounds and this one is the um, 184. So this one is quite long and again it's kind of dense but this one is a bit softer even than the um, Royal and Neglico <laughs> brush and this one I love for getting a more precise application of shadow in the crease and it's just so so soft and so comfortable to use on your eyes that I, I just love it and so inexpensive just great quality Alright, now I have one skincare item that I'm gonna mention that I, I mean I was kind of this year like really playing around with a lot of skincare items so I didn't have like a specific regime I was sticking to. The only thing that really stayed in my skincare routine the whole time is my L'Oreal Paris Hydra Active 3. Uh, this is I think Europe exclusive. I'm not sure if you can get it in the States. Please, if you do know that, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, but this one is the best, best, best facial cleanser there is. I actually use it more like a makeup remover because I don't use like any specific product to take off my makeup. This one is safe to use around the eyes. It removes any waterproof makeup. I just very gently like massage it on my wet face when I'm taking a shower and it just works perfectly for dissolving makeup. I usually use it twice, once to like break down the makeup and then the second time to really like get rid of any buildup. Um, and then I'll go in with a specific like acne care cleanser because you all know I'm dealing with acne and I don't even know how many bottles I've gone through but at the same time this bottle that has 150ml is so inexpensive and it lasts and lasts and lasts. Like I, I'll, I'll probably have this one for like 
I don't know, four months or something, which is crazy because I remember before with other brands, I would like, I had to like repurchase this one for like these ones, like cleansers, I had to repurchase them like every single month and this one just lasts and I even use it to cleanse my brushes, which is weird, but it works perfectly. Next, I have three nail polish favorites and two are from Essie. Essie is definitely a winning brand for me when it comes to nail polish. I mean, they're just so incredible quality and they're not that expensive. And my two kind of year-round favorites are the uh, Allure, which I I had like five bottles of this one. <laughs> I use it every single time when I want a really natural looking manicure. This is what I use. And then the other one is cute as a button that I got because of Essie button here on YouTube, which I'm sure everybody knows of. Um, her recommendations are always on point and with this nail polish it was just no exception. And I love this one definitely. A very kind of bright coral but it just looks so fun and girly and just great on the nails. So these are the two from Essie that I'd say are like my year-round favorites that I really am obsessed with. And also I have to mention the MAC um, Cream Finish Nail Polish in Steamy which is a bright pink and just great quality. I know a lot of people don't like MAC nail polishes but this one is just really great quality and I was really impressed and I loved it especially for the summertime just because it looked very kind of beachy and fun so definitely a great color. Alright and now we can move on to the makeup. So my face standout product has definitely been my Skin 79 Super Plus Bevelish Balm Triple Function Whitening UV Protection SPF 25 Wrinkle Improvement. So uh, incredible product. I got it. I ordered it of eBay um, maybe like a year ago and every single time when my skin felt bad, when I was breaking out, when, my, when I was having oily skin, dry skin, this is what I go to and that's what I'm wearing on my skin today. It's just so nourishing, it makes my skin really soft. Like at night when I'm taking off my makeup, the texture of my skin is just so nice and it doesn't clog your pores. Definitely a very hard product to get your hands on but just incredible, incredible and I had it for like a year, I used it like daily but you really need the tiniest amount of this one because it has very high coverage and it just covers really well, you don't need a lot of it and so it lasts a long time. I just, I love it. Mine is almost out, like after a year I'm kind of almost getting through it and the packaging is wonderful, everything about it is just perfect. And I actually have a whole separate video on this BB cream that I'm going to link in the bottom bar so you can go and check it out if you're interested to see like a more in-depth like review. Next is probably not a surprise if you watch any of my makeup tutorials and that is my Body Shop Honey Bronzer in the shade number 2. I have like a huge dint in it and I use it every single day to warm up my complexion. I have tried like a million different bronzers and they're just they just sit in my like makeup drawers because I don't use them because this is all I ever really enjoy using and that really really perfectly suits my skin tone. It is a very light bronzer, it's not heavy but it gives you great definition in the cheekbones and it also kind of provides that glow and warmth to the face and it's just perfect and it's not expensive at all, the quality is amazing and it smells like honey so I don't know what else can I say about it that's like better, it comes with a mirror, the packaging is great and very sleek and perfect for traveling, I just, I love it. My standout blush has definitely been my Pixie blush, this is Beauty Blush in number 2 Purest Peach. I'm not sure if this is like a limited edition, I don't think it is, um, I got mine off beautybridge.com, um, they have a lot of Pixie products so that's a good like place to buy, I know Target carries uh, Pixie. But when I was in America, I just I didn't see like a lot of like their products there. So yeah, maybe it's a good idea to search on it online. But this shade is incredible. Again, what I'm wearing on right now, um, it is a very shimmering pinky shade. The texture is really, really smooth and wonderful. It has a tiny bit of glow, so it really gives you that kind of healthy look to the skin. And it doesn't look like blush on your cheeks. I mean, it obviously looks like blush, but it looks like you're blushing from within. So it's a very natural color, and it just goes with so many different looks because it's so natural. So I've definitely been gravitating towards this one for the past, like, six months or so, ever since I got it, and I absolutely love it. 
Sorry, I felt like we were getting kind of bright. Sorry, I adjusted the lighting a little bit and hopefully it's fine. Um, okay, so the next absolute favorite in the discovery that I found in August, so kind of like a recent discovery, is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden, which is their neutralizing concealer. So I have really, really veiny eyelids and I also like I have like uneven texture and skin tone around my eyebrows and this one sorts it out perfectly and it's incredible how much it boosts your pigmentation of your eyeshadows and how longer it makes them last I mean I used to be like oh you know I don't need an eyeshadow primer I used to love my Inglot one but it, like after trying this one I was just like there's no better like product for what I want and need in my eyeshadow primer so it's really really great the color of your eyeshadows are going to be a lot more vibrant even I think that this one is better than the original one which I haven't which I have used and I liked it but I just didn't like it because it didn't even out my skin tone but this one is just so perfect and I absolutely love it then for like creamy eyeshadows I've been obsessed ever since June with the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. I have four. My absolute favorite is the Amethyst which is a purpley brown and it is just so so beautiful. These are very shimmering but so smooth on the eyelids. You just apply them and you don't have to like worry about blending them which I mean I love the Maybelline color tattoos but I just feel sometimes they're a bit hard to blend if you let them sit. Well, with the, these ones you can just work with them so easily and they're just beautiful and I love them and they're awesome. So, highly recommend those. And um, for eyeshadow, I actually have two eyeshadow palettes. One is like more like from the beginning of the year and then this one is like from the other beginning of the, from the second half of the year. So, the first one is my lid stuff from Soap and Glory, which is a very, uh, no, this is the shade uh, What's Nude. So, uh, this is a very neutral, neutral palette. These ones I just wear like all the time. And you have like three matte shades, and then you have one shimmering uh, shade. It kind of reminds me of Satin Toe by MAC. And the quality of these are incredible, and they're so, so, so affordable. But you have a ton of product in them, and they're just really great. The one thing I do wish with this one is that it comes with a mirror, just because I really like to like do my makeup on the go, and that's something that I do miss about it. The packaging isn't really that great, but the products, the pigmentation and everything is just incredible. You can see if I do this, hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm going to have the close-ups. Um, they're just really smooth and great pigmentation, and I just love them. And then the other palette I was talking about is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. Not a fan of the second one, seems chalky. This one is incredible. If I like, am really in a rush, I'll even use the darkest two shades to fill in my brows. And it works perfectly. All of the shades are just really nice, buttery, very easy to blend. And they just work together really, really well. So when I just want a really simple contoured eye, this is all I use. You can even use the darker shade to kind of create a smoky eye, which I do all the time as well. And I just love this one. And this one does come with a mirror, which is a plus. So definitely great product. Then I couldn't not mention Lemming Clashes. I... I don't even know, like I hated, hated false lashes, but ever since I discovered these ones, I just am a total convert. I wear them all the time and I'm wearing them like right now. Uh, today I have my favorite pair, definitely hands down, um, the Angelic pair. They're just so natural, but they give a lot of volume and a lot of length. So they're definitely dramatic, but in a, such a natural way that it's crazy. And um, they're super soft, super easy to apply, which is the main thing that I really love about these how easy they are to apply and take care of I wore this pair probably like 30 times I wear them like all the time and they're still going strong I'm probably gonna be wearing them for New Year's Eve as well and I highly highly recommend them um, Mean Clashes are so much better than any like Eyelor or Dell Lashes I've tried a bunch of them and I never ended up liking any of them but with these ones they're just like your regular lashes you don't feel them on at all and I just love that about them. And then the last two products are going to be for lips. So my standout lipstick is from MAC. It is the Cream Sheen um, Cream Cup Lipstick. I got this because of Tanya Burr who raves about it all the time. And honestly when I, when I saw it on the display I was just like, yeah, it's just a plain nude. It didn't seem like anything. 
But because I love cool tones, I just really, really loved how, how it looked on me. I just feel like it is the perfect kind of nude where you don't look dead but you're not wearing a pink, pink lipstick. Because I feel like those brownie nudes are just too, too plain and they just don't look good on people. In my opinion, I mean, if you love those kinds of shades, good for you, I don't judge you, but I just don't like the look of it. But this one is the perfect, perfect shade. It has a slight hint of pink in it and maybe a little bit of mauve, but it's the perfect balance of all of those kind of tones and I just love it so much. And then lastly, my favorites for 2014 are the NYX Butter Glosses. So inexpensive, so moisturizing and really, really great. Um, my two favorite shades are Maple Blondie and Vanilla Cream Pie. Probably Vanilla Cream Pie a little bit more than the uh, Maple Blondie. But they're both equally amazing. I wear them all the time. It just makes you look really fresh and you don't have to worry about it smudging or going patchy or anything like that. They are great colors and there are a lot of like darker shades that I'd li really like to try out. Um, unfortunately we don't have NYX here where I live but definitely worth giving a go um, if you do have access to NYX products because they're really great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some new products and I hope you're gonna have an amazing new year. Um, those are all of my favorites and I'll talk to you guys probably next year. <laughs> Bye!